What's up everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an e-commerce website or if you are doing drop shipping, you can drop ship or sell products directly to uh, this website. For this video, we will need Pantheon.io. So we will use Pantheon.io for creating our web hosting and domain name. Basically, if you want to create a website, you'll need three things. First of all, a website builder and we will use WordPress as I'll show you later in the video. And uh, the second thing is a web, uh, like a domain name. So that's the, well, like the website name that you type in. So like google.com, facebook.com, these are the domain names. And third, you'll need a web hosting service. So to host all the data of your website, like uh, on the cloud. So you can get free uh, web hosting and domain name on pantheon.io and use WordPress or uh, as the website builder. So let's get right to it. So first of all, you need to uh, go to pantheon.io to the Pantheon website and you want to click on start freeze and or get started right here. So let's click on start free. And here you can sign up with Google or fill in all your details and sign up with email. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to fill in all my details and then get back to you once I click on create account. So here, once you entered all your details or you signed up with Google, uh, you'll be redirected to your main dashboard here on the Pantheon website. So here is my main dashboard. And now what you want to do is click here on create new site. So let's create a new site right here. Click on create new site. And what kind of site do you want to create? So uh, here for the website builder, I would recommend WordPress as it's really powerful and really popular and it has lots of tools to use. So let's click on WordPress here. And here you can enter your website name. So let's choose um, my shop. Okay. And the region, let's leave it as United States. Or you can change it if you want to sell in Europe, Australia or Canada and make sure the WordPress here is selected and then click on continue. And here uh, it gives you like the link of, for your website. So that's your uh, web uh, URL for the website here. The okay, name already exists. So my desk shop, uh, like uh, some random numbers. Okay, click continue. And here it'll deploy uh, your CMS, in this case WordPress. So let's wait for it to continue loading. Okay, once the uh, process is completed, you can click here to visit your Pantheon site dashboard. It'll redirect you to your dashboard here. And in here you want to click on visit development site and it'll redirect you to uh, the WordPress website where you can install WordPress and here you can select the language. Let's select English and then hit continue. And in here, what you wanna do is fill in some details. First of all, let's uh, copy the password right here. Click on hide it. Then your site title, so my desk shop right here. Username, let's uh, make it the same. So my desk shop. Okay, now you have to enter your email and then uh, like here, this often discouraged search engine from indexing the site. So uh, you wanna check it, okay. And once you enter your email, click here to install WordPress. So I'll enter my email, then click on install WordPress right here. Okay, now the it says WordPress has been installed. Your username is the my test shop and the password that you chose, let's click on login. And here the username or email address, let's type in my test shop. And here the password, we will paste the password that we uh, that it was generated for us previously. So that's why we copied it. So make sure you do not forget to copy your password in previous uh, screen before uh, continuing with the sign. So click on remember me and then log in. And now it'll take you to the WordPress dashboard where you can create your website. So first of all, let's uh, click on appearance right here. And here you have many themes that you can choose for the website that you have. 
Uh, currently, I'm on 2023 uh, custom, uh, customizable theme. However, we want to add a new theme right here. So uh, I recommend a theme called Astra. So we'll click on add new. And in the themes here, we will search for Astra, the Astra theme. And here it is, the Astra. So uh, we can preview it or we can install it right away. So I'll install it right away right here. So it is installed right now. We should click on activate in order to uh, make it the current active theme. So let's activate it. And now what you want to do is go to plugins here to view the installed plugins. Uh, you can delete these two, so bulk action, select them, bulk action, uh, delete. And once you delete them, we will install a plugin called Astra here. So uh, delete, apply, deletion process to delete them. Okay. Then click OK here. And then in the plugins here, let's click on add new. Let's search here for Astra again so click on enter and it'll the first one that appears that the one we need to install so let's install now okay it is installed let's click on activate to activate it and now as you can see it is installed right here and then what you want to do is click on c library right here in the starter templates uh, under starter templates and here you will want to choose a page builder to start uh, editing the template that you chose. I recommend here a uh, beaver builder. So it's uh, probably the easiest one if you are just starting out. So let's choose beaver builder right here. And here it'll redirect me to the templates page where I can choose a template uh, to uh, edit it and create my website. So I want to uh, build a store, an online store. So these templates like we have organic store, we have this one, uh, the brand store. So we have a couple of templates for our for stores. So um, here we can also filter them or search other templates. So let's search for example, for store. Okay. Now we have many templates to choose from. Let's say I like this one, the Simply Natural. I think it looks uh, minimalistic and uh, pretty attractive. So click on it. Now we can scroll here, we can scroll down to view the website. As you can see here, we have uh, many products that are available and we can add our own products as well instead of these dummy ones. So um, here we can upload a logo. We can add a logo to our website or if we do not want to do so right now, we can just click on skip and continue. And here you can choose the fonts. So let's here uh, test it out. We have uh, the fonts that are on the website. So let's change it. So let's click on this one. And as you can see, the font changes in real time. So let's try out a couple of fonts here. Okay. I like, um, no, let's go back. This one looks good. Now click on continue. And now here you have to enter like uh, your first name, your email, you are building this uh, website for and everything. So Let's fill in all the details. Okay. Your work email. Let's enter the work email. I am a beginner building a website for myself. Uh, okay. Can import customizer settings, import widgets, import content, import, import everything. So here I'll enter my email and then click on submit and build my website. Okay. Now the theme is installing. And once it finishes, we'll go ahead to the editing process. And now the setup is done and we can click here to view the website. So let's do it. It'll open up in a new tab. And as you can see here, our URL is now shown. So this is our website. And here is the template that uh, we chose. We can scroll down to view it and we can click on any uh, of the items to uh, view them so we can see collection we can see the individual items so that if we click on it we can see how the item page is looking like so here in the item page okay looking pretty good then we want to click on beaver builder right here to start editing our website 
and now it opens up the page in the beaver builder uh, like editing page here this is the main editing uh, like tool for editing the web page here if we hover over any element as you can see we can edit it we can uh, move it around so we can move this element right here this uh, best quality plants like heading we can move it uh, to the bottom right here like below the shop now and we can also uh, like edit it so if we click on it and a pop-up menu will open and we can edit the text right here so uh, let's see see our plant okay now we can edit the font we can edit, make it like bold italic and so on and we can edit text we can uh, like add a link to like when we click on this text it'll open a certain link if you can select is separated and typography like uh, settings we can add a text color make it like a blue okay let's save it okay as you can see the changes applied and now we can click like uh, here in this area right here we can add this text with these elements right here as well we can edit if we get as so basically we can edit any else and we can duplicate it we can view the settings the font settings and the account settings and so on now um here if we want to change products like let's say we want to add a new product to this page or remove products like these plants uh, right here we should go back here to uh the dashboard the pantheon dashboard we can click on the view development web uh, website or visit development website here we can uh, click on the dashboard. So uh, let's go to view the products. So if we click on products here, we can choose all products. Here it displays all the dummy products that are available or are shown on our shop right here, these plans. Okay, and each with the price and the discount and the category and so on in stock, out of stock. Here we can add new products or we can delete. Uh, products that we want so here uh, if we add a new product click on add new and you will enter the name of the product so let's say a test product okay uh, we can skip adding the description we can add a photo so the product image so we can select here or select free images so if we click on free images so it'll load up images from Pig Bay. Let's choose this flower right here. Okay, save and insert. Now the image is added. Okay, now we add a regular price, so $40. Discounted price or sale price, let's say 35. Okay, looking good. Let's uh, publish here the product. And now if we go to all products, we can see that our test product is added and it will display on our website. And then once you are finished with all the settings on your website here um, you can click on done and you can discard you can save drafts you can and you can publish your website to make it live and this is how easy it is to build an e-commerce website or a dropshipping uh, website using the pantheon.io platform